Hi friends, we are continuing lecture on partial differential equations. So in this lecture we will discuss about how to find the particular in integral in case of linear partial differential equations with constant coefficients. So this is the general form of homogeneous partial differential equation with constant coefficients. So first of all we have to convert in operator form for that we have to sub put dou by dou x equal to capital D and dou by dou y equal to D dash and convert into f of D D dash of z equal to some function of x and y. Already we are discussed about how to find the complementary function for that we have to equate this f of D dash to 0 and that put D equal to m and D dash equal to 1. So for pi, write down that 1 upon, so this value that f of d, d dash into f of x comma y and general solution is cf plus pi. We have various methods for the depend on this function in case of e raise to ax plus by, in case of sin ax plus by, x raise to m into y raise to n, so various types are there. So in this lecture, we will discuss about the function in case of exponential that is e raise to ax plus by. So already we studied in case of ordinary differential equation suppose f of d of y equal to e raise to ax how to find pi. So in case of this you return that 1 upon f of d into e raise to ax and we are replacing d with x coefficient unless until the denominator is not equal that means f of a is not equal. In the same way in this also write down that 1 upon f of d d dash into e raise to ax plus by and we are replacing this d with x coefficient that is a and d dash with y coefficient that is b if the denominator is not equal to 0. So in case of denominator what you did in this? In case of this we are differentiated this f of d with capital D. In the same way we are also a, so it is exist if the denominator is not equal to 0. If it is 0 f of a b is 0. We have to differentiate this f of d d dash with respect to capital D partially and multiplying with x. So where this is the partial derivative with respect to capital D. If it is 0, again you have to differentiate this with respect to capital D partially and we are multiplying with x square and we are continuing this process up to the denominator is not equal to 0. Now, we will solve one problem. So, dou cube z by dou x cube minus 3 dou cube z by dou x square dou y plus 4 dou cube z by dou y cube not y3 equal to e raise to x plus 2y. So first of all we have to convert into operator form for that we have to put dou by dou x equal to capital D and dou by dou y equal to d dash. So then we will get we are replacing this is with capital D cube and this is with we are replacing this with d dash cube for auxiliary equation we have to replace this put d equal to m and d dash equal to 1 you will get this is m cube minus 3 m square into 1 that is m square plus 4 into 1 1 now you have to find the roots of this equation already we are discussing about this how to find the roots in ordinary differential equation also so therefore m values are minus 1 2 comma 2 so in this what is the nature of that roots so in this two roots are equal and one is the distinct root of this in case of if two roots are equal that means suppose uh, m is any root repeated twice and m1 is the distinct root of this then what is the complementary function so in case of m is repeated twice so you have to write down that complementary function f1 of y plus mx plus x into remember this 
x into f2 of y plus mx plus so one more root is there so for that f3 of y plus m1x now we are comparing this with uh, this so we consider that in case of this m equal to 2 and m1 equal to minus 1 so simply we are replacing this m with 2 and m1 with minus 1 therefore we will get f1 of y plus 2x plus x into f2 of y plus 2x plus m3 of, sorry f3 of y plus m1 is minus 1 minus 1 into x that is y minus x now find pi so for pi so 1 upon f of d d dash that is d cube minus 3 d square into d dash plus 4 d dash cube into e raised to x plus 2 now in this we are replacing d with x coefficient that is 1 and d dash with y coefficient that is 2 that means put d equal to 1 and d dash equal to 2 substitute in this so 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square that is 1 into d dash is 2 plus 4 into 2 cube into e raised to x plus 2y so this is 1 and this is 6 and this is 2 cube is 8 8 4 yeah, 30 simplify this so 32 plus 1 33 minus 6 1 upon 27 into e raised to x plus 2y so therefore so general solution is z equal to cf plus p so therefore this is the final solution so in the next lecture we will discuss about in case of denominator is 0 how to find the pi so thank you for watching please subscribe